Adeline, words can't actually explain how happy I am and excited I am about marrying you. You're by far the most amazing person I've had the pleasure of meeting. And the idea that I get to spend the rest of my life, I get that privilege, as your husband, is a dream come true. I remember the first time we met, I thought you were stunning. And the cool thing is that I get to feel that feeling literally every single day when I come home, when I come back from an underway. <laughs> you always ask why I love you. The hardest part about answering that is that I love absolutely everything about you. You're kind, loving, warm-hearted. You're a huge goofball, and I love that about you. You know exactly how to make me laugh when I'm in need. You're an amazing mother to a beautiful son, and you bring order to the chaos in my life. I love you so much, Addy. This is the beginning of a crazy journey, and I couldn't dream of a better partner. Can't wait to see you walking toward me in your dress. See you soon, baby. With more love every day, John. our wedding day. I cannot wait to see you at the end of the aisle, smiling, waiting for me. We've been through so much together in the last three years, and I wouldn't change a thing. Meeting you in Charleston brought me so much happiness. I never thought I would find a man to love me as much as you do. I will forever cherish our taco boy dates. The day I choked on a tortilla chip, fighting you for salsa. I'll always remember the symphony you spent with Jackson, my dad, and I for Christmas, and the day you told me you loved me in Savannah, Georgia for my birthday. I will always love how you let me teach you how to pipe chocolate mousse, how to bake, and I will always love how you supported my pastry job. I love you for always supporting me, even when I joined the military. I know that was rough. When you changed your flight after you had already had one booked at a completely different airport, just to spend a few more hours with me after boot camp. You always go above and beyond for me, just to show your love. It has been a long two years of distance for us, but now let's come to an end. I am so grateful and thankful we have come this far. They say distance makes the heart grow fonder, and I can say that is absolutely true for me. My love for you cannot be described in one page. It cannot be expressed in a 100-page book. It is strong, it is real, and it is full. Oh my, goodness, <laughs> my heart is so full having you as a part of my life. Now, before I start crying, John, I love you so much. I can't wait for the forever part and us growing old together and watching your grandkids run around outside. This is our forever. I love you. P.S. I'll be the one in white. Your loving wife, Adeline. Right. <laughs> As you live your lives together, always remember your love for each other. The love that you're feeling at this very moment that's the strength that God gives you to endure. If you continue to love one another with a love that you're feeling right now, then there are no obstacles, there are no problems, there are no difficulties that together the two of you cannot overcome. As long as you continue to love one another. And I'll pronounce you husband and wife. John, you may kiss your bride. Never go to bed angry, don't sweat the small things, don't go to bed sad. Keep each other the priorities and the happier that you guys can make each other, the happier you guys will be in total. really couldn't have found two souls more perfect for each other. This thing that we call life isn't easy, but it's definitely worth it when you have the person that you love right by your side. You two, you have definitely found your soulmates.